So last week, I believe it was, I did a video on this knife, or I posted the video on this knife. Did the video uh, quite a bit before that, but I schedule these to go out over time so I can film a bunch at once and have them just go up over like a month or so. Um, but anyway, I think this video came out last week on this uh, Winchester Muskrat that I got in a uh, bid on eBay for like, I think it was like $28 or something like that. And it was in kind of rough shape. Uh, I figured I would do a video on what it looks like after I touch it up a bit. So you can see the shield there is polished up. Bolsters are pretty polished up. Uh, just use some like uh, case paste pretty much. Um, so everything's, you know, pretty polished up. It's got still got some corrosion on the back spring and of course on the blades. Um, but you know, I'm not worried about getting it 100% back to like new because obviously it's not a new knife. Um, the cracks in the handles, I've put super glue in them so they don't get any worse. Um, the one here on the back was the really bad one and there's still a like, um, dip there but there's super glue in there so the crack shouldn't get any worse which is the main thing that I'm concerned about um, I might go over this with some sandpaper at some point but for right now I'm not worried about it um, so there's a little bump there um, but should stay you know not get any worse uh, and stay stabilized and uh, you know I polished up the whole knife including the abalone so it's all nice and shiny and stuff um, the blades I've cleaned up a little bit, obviously, you know, it's a little bit harder to get stuff off of blades when it's like, like it is, um, you know, with it being steel instead of, uh, nickel silver and everything, but you can see the bottom part of the blades there is all nice and polished. The top part of the blade that was sticking out from the handle, uh, still has quite a bit of like, uh, dark spots. It's not really like uh, pitting or anything, but it's just like a darker stained area of the blade, pretty much. Um, it's kind of hard to show off because my light's too bright here and everything. But but yeah, so on both blades, pretty much the same thing, you know. The bottom part's pretty well polished, and the part that sticks up out of the uh, frame of the knife has still has the like you know darker stained steel and everything um, but I feel like this is uh, far enough for a knife like this um, you know well well made knife that I got for a really good deal just because it was in rough shape and with a little bit of work I got it to a point where I'm really happy with it um, and I have carried this knife a few times already and will continue to do so I do use my uh, collector knives leather sheath to carry it just because of the abalone. Um, for now, anyway, at some point that'll probably change. Uh, generally speaking, pocket slips aren't really a thing that I use that often just because uh, for whatever reason I just can't get used to it and it annoys me having to take the slip out and pull the knife out of the slip when traditionally I just reach in my pocket and grab my knife. Uh, but anyway, you know got a pretty nice look and I'm very happy with it um, and like I said this was like $28 or something on eBay so you know if you are willing to do a little bit of uh, work on something like this you can get a really nice knife uh, for not a lot of money just because it needs a little bit of work uh, but anyway that's about it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one hope you have a good day